The following is a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is Black Hollywood Live, Fashion 411, featuring the week's roundup of fashion news. Black Hollywood Live, Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host of Black Hollywood Live, Fashion 411. Welcome, welcome. You are here at Black Hollywood Live, and it is Fashion Friday. I'm your host, Courtney Stewart, and I am joined in the studio for Fashion 411 this week with some superstars that are doing a very For the fashion dance. police, yo. They're, they're the fa- I was going to say you guys are like the fashion angels. It's like Charlie's Angels yes. meets fashion police. All right, so I have in the studio this week chatting it up with me miss tiana hobson's in the building hello everyone what's up lady oh not much thanks for having me i'm so glad to have you and you're rocking your animal print yes i and hope we, that's still in with a little decollete going on yes. we, we, we appreciate decollete. that <laughs> well i mean she has ample decollete so it's never really a little but i just said it it, it wasn't an appropriate decollete that's why i had to cover up it. today yes so jesse wore crew neck instead and DJ Jesse J is in the building. Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's, what's up? up what's what are we up? talking about? We're talking about a lot of fashion today. We got a little gossip going on, some little things happening in the news. So, did y'all hear about a little article <laughs> in Allure magazine? So, you know how these like fashion magazines are giving you how tos, how to put on right lipstick, or how to put on the right eyeshadow, or how to do your hair a certain way. Well, y'all, they done decided that they need to tell the white girls how they can have an afro too. <laughs> So there's Didn't a, Rachel Dolezal already do that? No, yeah. no, no. Not <laughs> is this, this that part two? Ra- this is this that part two. I think maybe Rachel Dolezal gave them the courage to oh, really so. go through with it because they really went in and basically they did a, oops, my little setup just fell. We They gave us a whole tutorial on how you as a white girl, whoever you are out there with straight hair, you can you know have an afro too, just like the brown girls And they do. reference them as rag curls, right? They reference them as rag curls. The problem, okay. So the real issue with this was that that the late the whole point of the story why is this not working the whole point of the story was to be like a um, salute to styles of the 70s not just ooh afros are really cool right now let's see if it can be pulled off by a white girl it literally was talking about highlighting looks from the 70s and the woman obviously that is modeling this hairdo even though she looks a real good biracial right there she does she does when she has her afro she is a regular white girl apparently and her name is marissa knitling or nightling she's an actress she's an actress yes and basically the quote with this was quote an afro is not an introvert's hairstyle because you guys all know that if a black girl is wearing an afro she could not possibly be an introvert Further. Yes. She's loud and outspoken. She's and loud and outspoken, <laughs> and she's strong and whatever. So anyway, they did a whole tutorial, like, you curl your hair, you, you know, spice it up, whatever. Twitter went ham and was really upset because they're like, really? Like, you chose a white model to do something that is a style, specifically that's supposed to be highlighting styles from the 70s. And we have a few tweets from some people that were very upset. First one I got is from at 2 Live Unchained, and he or she said, I don't know if it was a girl or a boy, I don't remember. They said, everybody want their hair styled, but don't nobody want to be profiled at Allure Magazine. Oh. Oh. Okay, and then we had at Whoever You Are said, what a missed opportunity by Allure Magazine to actually talk about Afro hair to the girls who actually have it, which I actually thought summed it up pretty well. I mean, it, so, okay. It wasn't <laughs> meant for, like, a tutorial for white girls. Because, I mean, the intro said, like, didn't it say, like, yes, you can. Like, that was, like, their statement. Their the statement cover, right? was, you, yes, you can have an afro even if you have straight hair. Okay, so they're just ge- generalizing, generalizing it to if you have straight hair, not. Because I took it as, like, you got this white girl on, so you're basically saying, yes, you can, white girls, if you want to have it, too. Which, that is what caused me to be like, what the hell is the Lord doing? Like... <laughs> 
I mean, I, were you offended? I, I, I'm offended by it, but I'm not surprised by it. Yeah. And it's also one of those things you see white girls walking around with their hair braided now, yeah. with cornrows, with extensions. Like they they do all the same thing with their hair that we do with ours. So if Allure wants to teach them how to do it and uh, in a healthy way, then you know yeah. healthy hair is good hair. So. Uh, can't be mad but it's the way they went about it yeah. that is wrong because it was supposed to profile stuff from the 70s, 70s. which you know black which, people that was our stuff in the 70s if they want their hairstyle go get a ironing board and an iron and like flat iron your hair that way well now I do want to also say that like my aunt now I'm Greek but like my aunt's hair is curl like it looked like, like that, that naturally like sh- that's just her how her hair is mm-hmm. and so I think maybe using somebody who, you know what I mean? If you're gonna use a white ethnically person, diverse, like use someone who actually has that, or I guess they're. T- I mean, because I thought this looked like a wig, to be quite honest. It does look a little bit like compared a wig. to. Did you see her hair when it was straight? Yes. I was just questioning. Just oh. questioning. It probably just was a wig. Like, you know that trickery that we yeah. be trying to do in magazines. I'm sure it probably was a wig, actually. <laughs> but in the end, for me, it was only offensive because of the idea that it was supposed to be reflecting and highlighting something from the 70s. And in the 70s, the Afro had a very specific meaning. Right. And it was black power, y'all. So the idea <laughs> that you were like, eh, you didn't, and there wasn't enough in the article to sort of translate and try to be like, support, like, whatever. Y'all went too and far. And it ostracizes... That whole community. So you're basically saying, oh, the only people who are reading us are skinny white bitches with who want to fucking, you know, it's curly sad, hair. It's because, yeah. you know, I don't like Allure Magazine myself. I don't read it. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Maybe, maybe, maybe they just thought like, black people weren't going to see it. <laughs> that we were just going to miss it. Yeah. And, like, it's not ebony, so the black, black people aren't black reading Twitter it. Twitter isn't going to look at it. And those black people are so, you know, extroverted and wild yeah, and, and wild insane with their afros. So they their afros. certainly aren't sitting around reading Allure Magazine. <laughs> They're out doing a protest somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah, it's black power. Moving on. Allure, you're a failure. I'm sorry, you fail. Yeah. Speaking of failures, or not, maybe not. Naomi Campbell, y'all, she might be going to jail. Uh, for can she? Who After she threw a shoe all at? these years of her throwing <laughs> she shoes and phones and everything, y'all, some paparazzi over in Italy done got her caught up. So Ooh. she basically was on vacay with her billionaire boyfriend, and like paparazzi totally attacked, and she like swatted the paparazzi with her purse and like poked him in the eye and like had this whole ordeal. And he was not interested in letting it go, so it's been in like court for a while because this happened, I believe, in 2009. And uh, so basically, the courts have come down now and said that they will actually give her a six month suspended sentence, which probably means that she'll probably do six months of community service in yeah. Italy somewhere. But she was looking really nervous, like, because it was looking like they might actually give her jail time for it. Because it was out of state, like, because in the US, I think they kind of are more flexible flexible when it yeah. comes to paparazzi because Britney Spears ran over a guy's foot yeah. but I mean yeah. why are you in front of her car like that and yeah. that's what I was going to say paparazzis are so aggressive with celebrities mm-hmm. that I'm sorry you got poked in the eye who cares yeah. boo hoo you were attacking you were like assaulting someone to the point where she couldn't get by you without yes. doing something why are you in arms yeah like, why are you in arm's distance of me I, I have a bubble my arm's like yeah. smack the hell out of you well, if you're within swinging purse distance you deserve you it you're too close you're too close too close but in oh. Naomi's case, this was her fourth yeah. assault I mean, conviction. Because yeah. as you remember, she hit the maid with the Blackberry. She also <laughs> spit on and kicked cops at Heathrow Airport. So, so basically, basically, calm down, Naomi. <laughs> Naomi, I hope you like mellowed out. That was a few years ago now mm-hmm. that it happened, and you know, Do your community yoga. service, have some anger management, which she may have to take some anger management courses again. I think she actually had to do that in New York I think at she one did. point. Yeah, I don't hold the paparazzi. Like, I won't since it was so long ago. I'm not going to hold the paparazzi case to her because I I can imagine how frustrating Papar- it, anything it, it, with the paparazzi is. I kind of be yeah. like mm, I'm like you might have y'all got long lenses y'all right, like, from across the, the street like <laughs> <laughs> just stay in the bush right. like don't come jumping yeah. out in my face like oh well but anyway. then that's scary too yeah. like, people but it's also just it's hard to feel bad for people who make a living off of selling photos of people in but their most private and intimate moments sometimes yeah. with those long lenses you can catch a celebrity 
sunbathing topless in their backyard yeah. and then you sell it and you make millions off of it so I, I can't feel bad for the paparazzi yeah. in this and case. it's not like he lost the eye yeah I mean long. what it was red you put some like visine in it yeah. because my thing fine. is let's it say it didn't even require stitches yeah a photographer for National Geographic you are signing yourself up to go in the world's most dangerous places if a tiger walks up to you because you want to photograph a tiger and he's like are you going to sue the tiger <laughs> No, you put yourself in that position. Interesting analogy. Wow. That's All why right. I sit myself right at the safe table. Safe tables. We like it at safe I'm tables. Look at the pretty Black pictures. Hollywood buy. <laughs> Speaking of pretty pictures, Beyonce might have a video for us, guys. Ooh. Supposedly, she purchased $313,000 House of Borghese Princess Collection Constellation Stilettos that have 1,290 precious stones on them and supposedly they were purchased for a video shoot for a video that will be coming out in the fall. Oh. I did see some pictures of her on like that's a set. That's the rumor. So this could be true, but those shoes. That's the rumor. That's a lot of money for some shoes. I'm sorry. $313,000 thousand dollars for some shoes i mean you could get a really small house in la for that yeah this looks like honestly you might, you like, might, might get an apartment um, <laughs> probably just an apartment well, we, <laughs> yeah because i think they said like seven hundred thousand. Um, <laughs> these shoes look like the new age uh, cinderella i mean i like it i think it's fabulous mm-hmm. i mean there are diamonds butterfly. all over them and all kinds of other precious stones i feel like these would be on mariah carey yeah. Especially like, with the butterfly. Like, like, like the butterfly is confusing me for what yeah. song could this be for, Beyonce? Well, I don't. I think it's just because it's diamonds yeah. and it's going to be something sexy and hot. But what I also thought... Because Wait, are they Louboutins with the red? No. No? Mm-hmm. Nope. It's House of Borghese. House of Borghese. And the yeah. owner, his name is Chris Shellis, he said he thinks that, of course, Beyonce is a fantasy customer and he can't wait to see her modeling those shoes. Ooh. Yeah, that's dirty. Like, what, what do you wear with those shoes? You just wear the shoes, she's probably right? Naked, yeah, I was I would like, hope. well, like, she's yeah. like that. You don't wear anything. Don't wear We're any like, come on, like toxic Britney Spears, <laughs> yeah, like, just diamonds or on something. Your yeah, but we'll see. I, I'm just surprised. I'm surprised there's a video coming out number one because I really actually do believe she's pregnant now. Oh, I definitely. Believe I that. definitely believe that she's pregnant right now. But that may be why she's shooting. There were roots, and also a couple weeks ago, actually, we did oh, that on our. We had a picture, yeah, to get it shot now, and we saw a picture of her walking into a building. She had on just like a regular flower sundress or whatever, but her boobs are super full, and mm. she's not a huge booby woman. It's just not the case. The chemicals she's changing. So we'll see. <laughs> baby number two is on the way and she'll be wearing $300,000 shoes while she's making that baby. I mean, All right. Or while she's having it. Both. <laughs> I would wear those shoes every day. Like, yeah, your wear for cost. Yeah. Like, make sure you're getting I'd wear them up here and I'd have to have a foot yeah. rest the whole time. So you all have to watch my I wouldn't want to walk in them outside, though. No, they would they never would touch hit, the yeah. real floor. No, they could never touch no. the ground. Only my clean hardwood floors. Yeah. Like, that's you just it. walk around in front of a mirror at your house all yeah, the time. Just, naked. Oh, you want to go somewhere, Jesse? Like just come over here. You should be able to be naked wearing those shoes. Like, I can walk down Hollywood Boulevard naked wearing those shoes. You can. Do you see But you will get arrested no oh, there's well there's just that yeah you could get arrested but somebody who's not getting arrested I'll is use our, the shoes bail money <laughs> <laughs> but they'll have them in like a cage i wonder what could happen if you did that because they you know how they take all your stuff and put it okay. away but if you're naked and you only have shoes on and then they put those like what do you do how do you get how your do shoes you so you can get them pawned and then how do you leave because aren't you going to get arrested as soon as you walk out the house or the big they're going to wear this onesie <laughs> yeah they're going to give you the jumpsuit to walk out in all right, guys. Well, speaking of outfits, we're going to talk about the outfit of the week this week. It's on Miss Jamie King, who, by the way, just gave birth to her second child three weeks ago. I she's was gonna be Beyonce's going to wear this exact thing when she's pregnant. <sighs> oh, I don't care. I love it. But she gave I, birth this to is baby so three you, weeks Courtney. ago. I would wear that, like, right now. She is rocking this beautiful strapless white summer maxi dress by Gypsy 05. It's $295. You can get it online, Gypsy 05, guys. It's, like, the most precious little, like, sweet picnic dress ever in life. $295? $295. I could take my grandmother's dining room table uh, top and make the dress out. It looks like what goes on. It looks like the runner on my grandmother's dining room table. It's cute, though. I'll give her that, except what I will say, I I don't like her boobs in it. Yeah, those shoes are not. She doesn't really have a lot of boob, and, like, I mean, she just had a baby, and they're kind of, like, flattening. Well, that... Like, I'd rather see this on you. I could totally see you in this. And I feel like, is she tall? Yeah. She's, I think she's, she's like 5'10". She, she hangs out with Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift's a Wait, tall girl. Taylor like Swift? Aren't they, Taylor Swift is like her child's 
godmother. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. I don't think I knew that. Oh. Did you make that up, Tiana? <laughs> Tiana fact. But no, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm right. The leopard print shoes, just, girl. Like, well, I hate the Birkenstock style shoes. Like, yeah. I hate, I hate them. I would rather, a, like, I lit, like they make me sick. But I would rather a gold strappy sandal. But we're talking about the dress. Two ninety five, Gypsy 5 guys. Check that out online and get it while the getting is good. All right, speaking of expensive products... But luxury is what luxury does, and sometimes you need to be a little luxurious. I and can't wait to see what this goes if you like Louboutins, you will love his new lipstick collection, guys. Oh. oh. Christian Louboutin has a new lipstick collection. It was inspired by the Egyptian queen Nefertiti, and this is a line of 36 lipstick shades, and it doesn't come in your traditional tube because, you know. Who wants it's a regular really tube of that. lipstick? So basically, he used bullets that are housed in gold and black vials topped with crowns and adorned with little loops. So you can attach them to a necklace or chain and wear them around your neck. So you you don't have to go to the bathroom to reapply anymore. No, it's just it's, on your neck. It's on just... your neck, and you can just slip that on. And slip so on. it's it's, a, it's very like cruel intentions when she had her yeah, yeah, the, the her, her, yeah her coconut. But um. Is this what it's given with that lace? You, with the lace, you can so tie it like on your thing, or you can tie it on your thing. It's like I would imagine that it's longer than a choker. It's probably like right about. Now, are they here. all black and gold, or is it like if you get a red lip, it's going to come in a red? Well, color. I believe that they're all versions of black and gold. Like some of them are covered in gold, some of them are covered in black, but they retail. Oh, I yeah, I can't wait for this. Are you ready? And how big is that? It's I a mean, bullet. It's a bullet, dude. It's not. I mean, a, a lipstick tube isn't that big yeah. here to begin with. Huh? They retail for ninety dollars a piece, which isn't horrible. I mean, you can it buy. It is, I mean, you but can it's buy, like, like department store lipsticks can be forty bucks. Yes, yeah, that's so true. It is Louboutin. You know, you get a special necklace. He tried to upgrade you a little bit. Yeah, you get the, because even when it's out, you can still you have can it still around wear your neck it as a like necklace. It. Yeah. So it's like buying a necklace for ninety bucks. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna. I like the whole bullet thing. Yeah. Of it because I. I mean, I love when you go to gun ranges and they have all those bullets down there. And I took a bunch and I was like, what am I ever gonna, gonna do, do with this? You need I to don't make know. Some jewelry, girl. But Psycho. but there now. I have an idea. There you go. I'm gonna go make the knockoff version of yeah, this. Yeah, just like throw <laughs> down at Santiago. Throw some, some red Santiali. line down in there. Fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> some ruby red down. There. But for those of you that were concerned at all, I, we all know Louboutin for the iconic red bottom shoes, and he did a nail polish line also last year, which was very cool. And he has the iconic red. That iconic red lipstick will be available, so you will be able to have red lips, red nails, and red on the bottom of your shoes oh, in case you were worried. That's a little too matchy matchy for me, a but. Too I appreciate it. But it works, but it works. I don't put right underneath my shoes, I put it on my lip. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> All righty. Moving on to a little news in the style world this week. We have... Sorry, I have to take a moment and breathe. Hold on, let me catch my breath. Idris Elba, y'all. Mm. Idris is mm. our cover model of the month. He's on the cover of Maxim Magazine, First Man Ever by himself. What is he wearing? I don't, I don't know, know, but he I don't can care. hug me in it. He can wear whatever he wants or nothing at all, and I would still be pleased. Everybody was super excited to have him in studio. The, all of the... <laughs> Thank you for the applause. Thank you for the applause. We love it. And really, he's here today just for us to look at him. And can I just say this about him? <laughs> no. We're not talking. We're, we're just, just admiring. Hold on. Okay, now you can have a cock thought. I can have a what? A you cock? A, <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good watch out? Now you can verbalize. <laughs> uh, now you can say things. I just, I just want to take this moment now. Um, okay, I wanted to say this about the cover, though. Since it was his first, and what I can really appreciate that they did is not a lot of Photoshop. Mm-hmm. I love that you, we know he's an older man, and he's still handsome, and yeah. we can see the lines on his face, yes. but it's not... I don't know. There's just something to say about that that I appreciate that they did not you airbrush still see the, the heck out of him. on his hands. He's yeah. great. Yeah. But and it's, it's sexy, though. It's, it's, he's a hard, He looks like a man that would just fix your, your car when you need him to. Like, yes. Does he look like an all-around badass? <laughs> he does. That's what it says on the cover. I just oh. want him to... <laughs> I just want to know that Take he got nothing underneath that women, women's hope. trench coat because that looks like my grandmother's. <laughs> <laughs> your, your grandma got a lot of 
Oh, shit, my grandma is styling. I'm not mad. Girl. Shout out to Yaya. Uh, but Maxim, that's the one where they usually have the girls the in like girls swimsuits. In the swimsuits. Why is he so covered? I, I, I Does that make that me question. not a feminist no, if no, I say no, that? No, I Because I had the same thought. I was like, I mean, could he have not just been like you shirtless. Know, shirtless or something? But then I said, we understand. Oh, our, our uh, <laughs> Alexis. <laughs> lady in the booth, Alexis, wanted to make sure y'all know she loves him. She <laughs> loves him. She underlined love. But um, I was going to say that I think actually to have him like shirtless and like dripping and all of that would sort of go against a little bit of what Their the sexy actually yeah. is because looking at him his sexy is just right there yeah it's just it's powerful and it's strong and it's not even about his body it's not that's um, true also if they were to do that their fan base is men isn't it so I it's like yeah. if you put him market. shirtless on there you're changing your whole yeah. entire demographic possibly possibly so, oh. well, right, or it no, could inspire, or it could inspire certain like. other certain types of men to buy the, <laughs> to buy the magazine <laughs> yeah, yeah as honey. well Either but way, I honey. saw the inside pictures were oh honey y'all need to get Maxim and check out that layout because he was doing it all right, y'all. Yeah, three ninety nine. Can, can we leave him up for the rest? Of the I know, just <laughs> like I just, no, because we got to be distracting. Okay. okay. Well, things. we have to talk about one big news item of the week is Tim Blanks, who has been editor at large over at Style. dot com since like two thousand and six. And for those of you that don't know, Style.com has been making some changes and moving around, and basically they're about to become an e-commerce site. Um, Condé Nast announced that earlier this year, I believe. And now, Tim Blanks has a new gig, and he's making his way over to Business of Fashion, which is a huge resource for the fashion industry. It's a huge, 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 huge resource that started off as like a little blog on like whatever that old school, like how you put stuff on the internet that I can't think of the name of. No, it wasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> but he used to be a blog, and he's now going to be editor at large over at Business of Fashion, and he's taking over like next week. So he will be there for Fashion Week and the whole thing. And so he was very pleased, obviously, to have this new job as the whole style.com wave is sort of closing. It's like a new door opened, and now he's moving into that position. And we are looking forward to seeing what he's going to bring us because that is a huge fashion resource for the whole industry, and we love it. So congratulations, you Tim go, Blanks. You go, Tim. You go. You got yourself a new You're job. Pent cuffed, real. They are cuffed, real honey. thing. Look at him <laughs> and his little rolled up. Look, I like his red watch though. Yeah. Who's all sitting next to him, though? That's what I was looking at. <laughs> He's like, hey, put girl. Put some socks on. Yeah. Hey, girl. He said, put some socks on. That's his look. Speaking uh, of looks, it is time for our favorite segment of the show. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We have hot or hot mess, you guys. And this week, we had a few ladies on the red carpet. First up was Miss Jennifer Hudson. <sighs> Hot mess. Hot mess. Hold on. We have to to describe what she's wearing. Jennifer Hudson was at an event in Chicago on Michigan Avenue. And she... (laughs) You said, okay, Chicago. (laughs) She was wearing this lace slip dress with fishnet stockings and peep toe booties all in black. Okay. If you're going to wear peep toe booties, boo, (laughs) make sure that they're your shoe size so you ain't American Eagle. She's got the toe claws. She's got the claw. The claw. My thing is, okay, maybe because she was in Chicago, she was feeling Chicago. But, like, bitch, are you trying to come for Brandy? Like, this is not the musical. This is the the, This is the city. (laughs) So, like, no. Like, that top is making her boobs look crazy. It actually makes her look bigger than she actually is. I'm yeah. not into this at all in any way, shape, or form. I agree with Jesse on this one. I don't. I'm not feeling it. I love J Hud, but I'm not feeling this outfit. It, it's no. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. All on the nope. Thank yeah. you, Alexis. That is from Alexis. Well, what you think, Court? <laughs> I'm gonna say, say from, something nice. From the neck up, she looks flawless. <laughs> from the neck, to, from the neck to the forehead, because I'm not digging the you hair. Don't like the I hair. don't like the hair. Okay, see, I'm good with the hair because I, feel I like think she has it's a ball edgy. Cap it looks like she is either shaved her head or like it's all pulled back super tight. And I kind of appreciated it had it had like an okay. amazing outfit on. Like if the outfit was amazing and it was like this dramatic, yeah. like I'm just giving face, like then I would have been excited. But okay, so the outfit is. This is what I decided. 
The reason that this has happened is because I think Jennifer is sort of in between sizes again, and maybe she's starting to put back on a little bit of weight versus, because at one point she was like yeah. a stick figure. Yeah. And I feel like she's kind of confused and doesn't quite, because she was barely able to dress herself very well when she, in any point in her size, because I've never seen Jennifer on the carpet, and I was like, yes, honey, you look amazing. That's so true. I feel like she's in between sizes, and somebody did not tell her that hemline was at her coochie cutter. <laughs> And she tried to wear fishnets because her thighs are looking a little rugged and she only accentuated that because her hemline is literally cutting to her vagina. And then whoever, I think she got them peep toes from like, maybe her man just like bottom for her and she was trying to be sweet and be like, hey, will I wear your shoes? Girl, it looked like she wearing a slip from the 1920s and forgot to put the dress on. Laced up peep toe booties, like who? And she was trying to be edgy though, because everybody thinks if they put booties with a dress, like they're trendy and yeah. on like a little bit edgier right now. And it just, I think that her stylist just wasn't there that day. I don't day. think she has a stylist. Oh well, that's like, the ever. bigger problem. Because it looks like a black <laughs> lace diaper, actually. Yeah, that it does. she clipped in the middle and like just let it fold down so it looked like a dress. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have anything nice to say. But you're beautiful in the face. Yep. Okay, so next up, we had Miss <gasps> Paula Abdul. And she was wearing this black embellished with red floor-length mermaid gown at the 5th Annual Dance Gala in New York. I mean, just because you're Paula Abdul, I can accept that you even dared to put this on. But I'm just looking at this like, bitch, you look like fucking Jenga. Like, I cannot... <laughs> Like, if Jenga and fucking King Arthur had a baby, this is what the dress would be. Oh, like, my God. I'm just Jenga saying that. What King is that? Arthur? Like, she she is beautiful. Like, she's giving me... I'm, I'm into her hair. Her hair is good. The lip is good. The lip's good. But I'm really confused by this outfit. Like, this looks like a robot mermaid. Like, <laughs> I like the outfit from about her stomach up. Waist up. up. Yeah, like, I love I the that. top of the dress. I think it's very cute and stylish and... I'm not a fan of mermaid dresses just in general, general. so yeah. that I'm already going to be, you know, off by that. But it doesn't, maybe it's the reflector of it, but it doesn't maybe look it like is. the material is that great of material. And if it's like a plastic, it looks like a plastic yeah. type of thing at the bottom there, and that really creeps me out. It definitely looks like pleather of some sort. And I think that the one thing I agree, I'm like waist up, I'm okay. I think that because she is super tiny, what would have saved it is if it was not mermaid and if it was skin tight all the way down mm -hmm. to like that weird short? cocktail length. I would do just below the knee, but super tight, like 50s wiggle dress type tight at the bottom. And then it would have like slicked against and if it were tailored onto her like legs and body so mm -hmm. that it was super fitted, it wouldn't look like, cause it's almost wrinkly yeah. throughout and you're like, I'm not sure what to do with that. It kind of looks like aluminum foil, but then it's It red. looks like a hefty bag. It looks yeah. like she yes. took duct tape and a hefty bag and put it on the dress to on top it of work. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like one of those prom dress <laughs> Yes. <laughs> where they be trying to. I guess it in the end, look like that. it's a mess. That was straight up a mess. It's a mess. I'm sorry, Paula. Sorry, I really Paula. like you, though. Well, we're going to close you. out with a little street style from Lupita oh. Nyong'o, who we haven't seen a whole lot she recently. She a little thicker. But she was at the airport at JFK in New York rocking this black fedora with an aeroprint t-shirt, crop trousers, and booties. What do we think? I mean, it's I cute, casual. I like it. Her, her airplane style. travel. I love her uh, suitcase. Is narrow. that like a hat that bag? bag? I don't know. It's really narrow. It looks like a briefcase. I love the it. one thing sort. I don't like is all the additional arrows on the on shirt. The arrows, yeah. It looks like she's a flight attendant. Like it looks like a Delta. <laughs> it does symbol. look like the Delta. It looks symbol. like the Delta. I was gonna say, is she up for Star Wars? But it, I mean Star Trek, but it's Star she, Wars. Yeah. Yeah, but. Yeah. Other than that, I think it's a great style to travel in. I like to be comfortable on planes, and I hate it when people are walking in there with, like, five-inch stilettos and a tight Agreed. dress, and I'm like, what girl, are where are you doing? going? But it's There's also, like, I don't know, I'd be a hot mess at the airport. Like, I'd be in, like, some, you'd be like, like <laughs> I'm I in, like, sweatpants. Yeah, like, I rolled like... out of bed in, like, my pajamas. <laughs> and so this is, like, you're still comfortable, but, but still, still can be cutie. taking pictures. Yeah, yeah. and you got your braid, because you got your fro braided up right now. I just hate the arrows and all yeah. that. Like, Nah. And, and maybe it's the white arrow that makes it look sloppy. thicker. The pants look sloppy to me. Because yeah. like, they're kind of baggy in the crotch area, and then, uh, I don't know. It's better than nothing, I guess, but I'm not impressed. She's my favorite of the three. Yeah, for sure. That's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. Dang. 
<laughs> we we got all air, messes this I, week. I, I, I was, air, airplane attire <laughs> wins this year. Airplane attire wins Airplane this sheet. Week. That sucks. Oh, well. All right. Well, maybe we can we can redeem ourselves with our style watch for the week. I usually did. Maybe, maybe. We've got at Nini oh. Style oh. on Instagram. Her name is Nini Nguyen, and she has been a stylist for 13 years. You can check her out on ninistyle.net. She's a stylist. You can get her information or just look at her own personal style, which I actually think is phenomenal because she loves color. She loves fur, which we're not allowed to say because PETA's everywhere. But she, <laughs> but she gets vintage furs like all over the place on her site. Oh. And she gets lots of vintage pieces and she loves color and that always makes me a fan. And so. this she's reminds beautiful. me of and you, Courtney. Beautiful. Yeah. I These mean, colors. every yeah. single thing she's wearing, yeah, I want like yeah. right now. And I'm kind of mad because I actually had a skirt exactly like that on the end there. And it was leather just like that. It was just darker. And I have no idea what happened to it. What's your favorite oh. outfit? It's hard because they have very different purposes. Mm-hmm. But I, I think mean, this overall, this this I would say skirt. the leather skirt yeah. and the turban mm-hmm. would definitely be my one of my favorites. And then that pink, the uh, pink jacket's fur cute too. on the left is like my fantasy life. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm not classy enough for that yet. I would wear it. <laughs> you can have it your animal print. Yeah, my animal you print. wear your animal print. Yeah. I know, but, but like a, a fur, a bright a big fur. fur. Because I, I'm always torn because I understand Dipset. the animal <laughs> problem and like what they're doing, but like fur is just so luscious. So can we be like, oh, the animal died of natural causes, and then I skinned it? Is there like you if know that was okay, but like they don't die of natural causes when you buy them. <laughs> 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 maybe maybe we should start a program for it. It's kind of like blood diamonds and, you know, like, oh, these are safe, safe diamonds, diamonds, but we're doing safe, safe furs. Well, like, we watch the lion I die. I then, wonder if it's that's available somewhere. I mean, you know, they die in the zoo all the time. Is there something, They're though, that... They're not supposed to be in the zoo to begin <laughs> right. with. But is there Donna? something about you have to... Like, if the animal's just kind of laying there and you come across it dead, and it's like, can you still use that fur? Or is that... <laughs> yeah, like, we're that's what I'm finding like, random animals dead. Well, like, we trying to make a business over here. Right. Right. <laughs> I'd be at my park all the time. There'd be dead squirrels. You want a, a, you want a possum <laughs> shawl? I can give you that. <laughs> Squirrel tails. Squirrel tails. All right, guys. That was Style Watch on Instagram. Check her out at Nini yeah, Style. So much hate for that. Where can you guys? Where can fans find you guys on oh, the internet? Oh yes. Sorry. Oh Adrice yes. Just came she got back. Us the yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's right there. such Winning. a beautiful man. Oh. And he's tall. Just bold he's tall. And that oh. accent. And, oh. oh, there's nothing wrong with him. Nothing. Perfection. Okay. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, where, you where, can find me on Twitter where, and Instagram at the Tiana Hobson. And where can they find you, Jesse? You can find me at Idris Elvis House. And, <laughs> but you can tweet me at DJ Jesse J. And you know what? Because he dated K Michelle, it makes me believe like it could have worked with us. He dated K Michelle. Yes. Oh wait, I do remember. Yes. that. Yes. Come on. Like serious. Fucking weird. Yes. Okay, you guys. Can you can. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at Stuart Starlet. What did they talk about? (laughs) (laughs) But that's what she said. He's not this, like, aloof person that we would think he is. He's a regular dude, like, in a little bit of hood, which, I mean, remember Daddy's Girl? Yes. At Stuart Starlet. I own it. (laughs) Make sure you follow us at BHL Fashion 411. Thank you for joining us. You guys have a wonderful and fashionable weekend. Bye. Peace. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio. Instagram me at KingXO Bay. Thanks for tuning in. Hollywood, Hollywood redefined. <laughs> the views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.